Want to tell mommy anything? Mm. What else? I love you too. I love you so much. Alrighty, so I just walked out of the house. It's about 12.30. I found out about my last minute casting a little less than two hours ago. Thankfully, I was able to get ready with baby in arms. He wasn't having it by being by himself today. So that made it a little difficult. It was just one of those days where he wanted to be held by mommy. And then he ended up needing a nap too, so. I was able to put him down, get dressed, find my headshot, and get out the door. So now I am walking to the train. Another thing is, luckily, Dad was home because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to go to a last minute casting today. So he wasn't working this afternoon, so he's gonna be home with the baby, and that allows me to go to this casting which I'll probably be gone for uh, an hour or two hopefully not too long hopefully it's not that crowded and it's for a prescription pill so I have to be a receptionist it's actually a really nice day out luckily it's not raining and disgusting like yesterday when I was running errands So I'm definitely in dire need of new headshots since I haven't had them taken since I had a baby. And my face and everything has definitely changed. So that's on my goal list. I actually had to find a headshot that was super old to bring to this casting. So that's kind of embarrassing. And I feel weird talking to myself while walking. This is the first time I've really ever done this. Oh well, everyone does it. Hopefully they won't even ask me for my headshot. Oh, excuse me. Another great thing that I forgot to add was that my casting is downtown on 27th Street, which is actually my old neighborhood where I went to college and lived for a while. But it's downtown and it's right next to my favorite store. Can you guess what that is? It's Bye Bye Baby. So I get to go and get some stuff for the baby. And I actually have to make a return. So I'll be doing that. subway FIT's right behind me my college I want to do over that'll be a whole nother video in itself oh my goodness so yeah I have to walk about one block one Avenue one and a half avenues to get to this casting and train ride was train ride was quick so that's good. And here we are. 
almost there. I keep stopping and starting this video because I don't even know how I'm gonna edit this together yet. Editing is not my thing. Not my thing. So that actually went really well. I did two takes. There was nobody in front of me, so I went right in, which is the most amazing thing when you're auditioning, unless you're not prepared and you don't want to go in um, that fast. But I went right in. So the casting director was in the room with the um, guy behind the camera. I did two takes, and that's it. I was done. Now I'm going to buy my baby. My favorite store. So the baby doesn't need any clothes right now, but I just want to look just really quick. Just got off the subway. I have to take some very deep breaths and just let go of the fact that there are so many morons on the train. Like, people are just so rude, so idiotic. It's one thing why I hate taking the subway and I miss California and I miss driving getting in my own car where nobody bothers me and gets in my way but like you walk in a train people don't move they see you have like bags of stuff they don't move they need they know you need to get out of the train they don't move when there's room to move oh my god it was the worst when I was pregnant too I stopped taking the train because I started to get like just nervous about being on the train while pregnant, but when I was, and the people that wouldn't get up for you when you're pregnant, like blows my mind. So I'm three blocks away from home, I'm out of breath, I'm carrying all these bags. Whew. It stinks outside. Oh. I need coffee. Come on, Mike. Only one sock on. Does somebody only have one sock on? And somebody has a dirty face from eating cookie. <laughs> All right, so it's about three o'clock. I get it. So it's about 3.30 and me and the babe are just getting out of the house together for some fresh air and it's about 60 degrees here in New York so I want to enjoy the day before it gets too cold. And we're walking through Central Park. towards the Met where we love to go. Me and the babe go at least once a week. Um, he enjoys it because it's a lot of stuff to look at and he likes the walking. And then mommy gets to learn and read. And just overall, it's just a great place for us to go together. And it's only about a 15 minute walk across the park from my house straight to the museum's front door, so it's pretty amazing. Right there is the museum. A jewelry exhibition. He's showing you the big bird. Did you have fun? He took a nap. 
this place is just so inspiring for me. I just get some like creative juices flowing and gets me just so passionate about this. So we're leaving the Met now. I feel like Okay. But you think it was worth I feel like I should be a spokesperson because I love that place so much. I can, you can literally go there every single day and never see everything, never absorb everything, never learn about everything that's in there. And there's constantly new exhibits, so it never gets old. And there's guided tours, there's art classes, there's audio tours where you can just kind of go on your own. Baby was good. He slept. And then he woke up. And we're walking home now before it's time to eat. And we had a great day. Looks like a fake set. This is really Central Park. Looks like a fake, fake movie set. Hey guys, so after the museum got home, fed the baby, gave the baby a bath, and put the baby to sleep, ate some dinner, and now I'm heading to the gym, and I'm going to stop the video of our day today here and continue on another video, but that's pretty much what today for us looked like. Hope you guys enjoyed watching, and... 